Yeah, hi guys. Yeah, I'm I'm good, mate. I'm sweet as I'm just about to get on road for another day day 22 out here in Namibia. So yeah, mate, looking forward to it. You know what? We were all talking about you this morning in the office, Russ, and we just thought this is an incredible, incredible effort from you. And you seem so positive, mate. You're always smiling. Is that? I guess that's got to be key. You've got to have a positive mindset. Yeah, mate, I mean, it's a long old slog out here, isn't it? So we've got to try and stay as positive as possible. Obviously, you know, we do go through the motions. It's, it's not all fun and games. Um, but I try and try and keep that mindset on top as much as possible. So 16 countries, effectively 360 marathons in 240 days. I, I guess the, the biggest question is why? <laughs> um yeah, well, it's a good question. I kind of think, you know, I've um, I've I've spent a lot of my previous years working jobs that I really didn't like, and and feeling like I I wasn't living a very meaningful, fulfilling life, and uh, you know, to have the opportunity to to be out here, see the entire African continent on, on foot, and and try and achieve something like this, um, is is an incredible opportunity. And you know, when I'm when I'm an old man in my rocking chair. With uh, with all my little grandkids stomping around the place, it would be it'd be cool to tell them a few stories about, you know, this and that. So I'm, mate, I'm just trying to trying to get after as much life as I can, really try and experience it all. And uh, this is a great place to be doing it. That's a great reason, mate. And yeah. I think yeah, we're going to look at uh, the route, aren't we, Gail? Yeah, as well. we are. Tell us what's the most extraordinary thing that you've experienced so far. That the the one sort of moment when you thought, my goodness, this is why I'm doing it. Well, you know, there's plenty and, and sort of like I'm blessed with every single day when I'm running, I get to see the sunset um, in Africa and, it, and I'm often in quite vast open places. Um, you know, we've run through places with, with big cat big cat territory. So, you know, there's leopards, leopards flying around and, you know, we're in the Namibian desert now. But, you know, every day I kind of look around and think like, wow, you know, there's the the sky is, is beautiful. The, the landscape's beautiful. And it's just we're, we're going through so many places that, that, you know, not many people go through. So, um, you know, it's it's incredible. I'm constantly being reminded like this is how amazing this this opportunity is, you know. Yeah, I mean, it is amazing, mate, mate isn't it? Look, uh, what about your body, though? It, 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 you, how do you just keep going? I mean, it, surely it, there must be aches and pains and blisters and, yeah. and that sort of yeah. thing. And worry for your knees. Yeah, oh, I'll tell you what, you want to, I feel, you, the people you want to feel sorry for are my support crew because they, they have to smell my feet when I take my running shoes off every day <laughs> and it is ungodly, I tell you. Um, but... <laughs> Honestly, we've been through the motions in terms of like aches and pains and that for the for the first couple of weeks. I was like having big swollen knees and swollen ankles and thinking like, how am I going to run, you know, uh, 55, 60 Ks on this today? But the last few days, you know, touch wood, fingers crossed, we've been all right. So maybe we're starting to get over the hill, but you know, I'm sure I'm going to weep my words on that in a in a in a matter of days. Oh, I hope not, mate. And that's a good lesson for anyone watching at home. I say anyone's moaning about going out and doing a 5K <laughs> yeah. and they've got a bit of a sore leg. Just keep <laughs> going and, you, and you'll be fine. <laughs> hey, you, you tweeted yesterday, three weeks down, 31 more weeks to go. Uh, so yeah. what about the mental side of it? I mean, like I said already, you seem like a really positive bloke, but is the times, what, what have been the darkest times so far? And, and, and do you sometimes think, goodness me, I've got all this time to go? Yeah, well, I try and you know try and break it down. It's li it's literally one day at a time. I've just got to keep showing up, you know, put one more brick in the wall, and then you know in eight months' time, hopefully, we'll have something pretty cool to look back on. But you know, I don't think, uh, you know, I try not to bog myself down with thinking, you know, this is my life for the next eight months, and I don't have a choice. I've got to keep keep getting up and keep putting the work in, even when I really don't feel like it. Um, but yeah, man, like. It's just, it's one step at a time, one day at a time, and then we'll, we'll, we'll get there eventually, right?